Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss Amazon Web Service account settings. I am Venkatesh Bingi working as an assistant professor from Walton Institute of Technology Solapur. After going through this video, you will be able to secure your own AWS account and also able to explain the security measures needed to be considered for your AWS account's safety. Now before starting how exactly to secure your AWS account, you need, uh, you need to understand AWS regions and availability zones. So what exactly regions and zones? Amazon cloud computing resources are hosted on multiple locations worldwide that is called as AWS regions. Each AWS region is a separate geographical area and each AWS region has multiple isolated locations known as availability zones. So a region can have multiple availability zones and Amazon RDS provides you the ability to place resources such as instances and data in multiple locations. So this is geographical representation of regions, availability zones and RDS. So each AWS region can have multiple availability zones here I have shown. And Amazon RDS, this is also one belongs to availability zone. So and these regions are separated by geographical distance. Now these are some of the uh, AWS regions and availability zones. Here you can see US East US East North Virginia, US West North California, US West or Oregon, Asia Pacific Mumbai, Asia Pacific Osaka local. So like this, these are the uh, regions which are given by the Amazon to host your services. So some are there in China also. Germany, Frankfurt, Ireland, London, Paris, Stockholm. So these are some of the, uh, there are some uh, government clouds also. And uh, all these are uh, regions are accessed by using the protocol called as HTTPS. And these are the endpoints of each region. And this is region name. Now, in order to understand the security settings of your own AWS account, you need to click on this URL. AWS Management Control Sign into the console The last video we have discussed how to create uh, account on AWS Now by using the same credential I will log in to my AWS account So this is my uh, AWS uh, management console. Through this portal, I can uh, manage my AWS account settings. First you go to this. So 
so this is uh, where my uh, uh, availability zone that is uh, region is available the name of this is oregon us west and uh, by default uh, i have selected uh, this us west as uh, my region now you can uh, select this select uh, any one of the uh, uh, region according to your requirement according to the application which you want to host for a particular people so there are uh, different uh, you can see here different uh, regions and uh, and what uh, basis you will select the region uh, also depends on the what type of application you are going to host on aws uh, console and uh, where your uh, target audience is present for example if i want to host a site uh, for us citizens then it is not advisable to host your uh, application in a region which is there in in india or asia region you need to host that application in uh, the us region you know there are four uh, this us regions are available and uh, depending upon the uh, density of the crowd in a particular region you can select that uh, region and uh, second thing uh, yeah this is your account settings you go to my account and uh, here you can change your account id account id you can't change but you can change the password and account name and uh, see of course uh, the aws prov provide some free cost services but all are not uh, free of cost so the billing address uh, or uh, contact information has to be uh, shared with aws and uh, so these are uh, some of the contact information which is available with aws this is also you can edit and you can change it with change your address and uh, uh, you can change some uh, co uh, configuration settings as well as security settings if you want to do that uh, this is the way to do it you can put uh, some uh, questions uh, when you want to reset uh, some password or uh, when you want when you forgot some password in that case and uh, the another important uh, feature of uh, aws is what i am user i am user basically allows you to provide authorization to a particular application or services basically this feature is available or useful when you are working in a team and when you want to give uh, authority to a particular person based on his role for example project manager will be having higher authority access as compared to the tester so you will decide the role by using this i am user and what type of uh, access you want to provide to the application even he is developing or acts or uh, testing the application so i am user that you can decide and uh, there is one more uh, feature which is given by aws if this account is being used by public sector customer please provide the contact details in the field below so like this even if it is not private if it is public uh, sector customers also you can share their uh, uh, what you say uh, contact details and you can here you can see the communication preference through online or through postal communication that is also possible so these are some of the basic uh, account settings of uh, individual aws then uh, if you, uh, this is related to per one particular account when you are talking about an organization you can go to this here uh, before that you need to create an organization once you click on create organization it will ask the organization name and some details after that uh, you can provide uh, you know the you can provide or access the settings related to the organization my billing management dashboard
Here you can see the cost uh, which is incurred uh, in order to use AWS services or to host an application on the AWS. So there are uh, different settings, you know, speed summary, cost explorer, month to date spent by service, bill details you can get if you click on it. So when you use some paid services, you can get the bills from here. And uh, the next is what uh, security credentials. Now, if you want to change your own AWS account uh, password, uh, here you can change. Click here to change the password. And in order to change your password, you should know your old password as well as the name or email address of your account. It will send a uh, link to reset your password. In order to make it more uh, more secure you can use multi-factor authentication now basically it requires uh, username password as well as authentication code from mfa device to access this account so when you want to make your aws account more secure you can use this multi-factor authentication mfa so for this you need an electric gadget uh, it can be your mobile phone or uh, it can be your tab and this is one more uh, thing by which you can uh, secure your account by using access keys it will generate access key id as well as secret access key it is like a otp uh, that kind of thing then uh, cloudfront key pairs Basically, it is used to create uh, signed URLs by using this also you can secure your account. So now there is one more feature which is available by AWS that is X509 certificate uh, to se make secure SOP protocol request to some AWS services. So it is also used to secure your AWS account. And this is what Amazon uh, account identifier. So right now my AWS account ID is this and canonical user ID is this. So like this uh, you can uh, make your uh, AWS account more secure by clicking on my security credit. And uh, if you are not aware of any, uh, you know, how to access or uh, you want to ask any question or uh, want to get the doubt clear, you can go to the support and uh, here you can get some online resources by which you can secure your own account. Or if you have any questions, you can ask here. So depending upon uh, you know the previous history you will get some recommended questions from this and you can raise some questions through this also So this is how you can secure your account. Uh, now uh, what I want you to do is pause this video and answer this question. How many regions are available for AWS? And the second question, what is the name of Indian region available for AWS? The answer is right now at present, there are 21 regions which are available with AWS. And uh, Amazon has also one gi has given one region for India that is Asia specific Mumbai. And these are some of the references. And thank you. Hope you understood.